Hey guys, so this is what the people in Zim use as brooms. It's called a Muchairo. It sweeps really well. I can use it, although I didn't take footage of me actually using it. But oh yeah, there's a photo there for you. So I do enjoy using it sometimes, not all the time. But I want to show you something else, so stay tuned. So morning guys. Um, I have to record this for you. So we're doing what we, it's, it's, it's Shona culture where um, a newly wedded person or a new wife for the first time, the first time that they visit the in-laws, there is a procedure that they have to do. Um, apparently it's not very complicated, but let's see if I'll manage. It's just um, boiling water and preparing bathing water for um, its itch. <laughs> Guys, the number of blood is coming out even in Zim for each individual um, that is present here, starting from the eldest and the highest in terms of hierarchy to the lowest. So that's what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to get someone to record to show you like how it's done. So in this moment, you see me putting down the Nivea lotion and having put the water in the shower already. So you have to have some kind of lotion that you give them to um, to wash, to actually put lotion on their bodies after they bath. I'm still understanding everything about this, but that's what I had to do. So now I'm going to go call the first person that needs to take a bath. Um, I can't show you the footage in the room, but... Um, I had to kneel down and let them know that, you know, the water is ready. So that was the first person. I'm going to show you two or three other people just so you get the gist of what I actually had to do here. I was actually greeting Norman's dad before I went to go call the person that was supposed to bath. So enjoy. <laughs> So here I was getting instructions as to who is next, who follows in terms of the hierarchical order. Is that even correct? Hierarchical. In terms of the hierarchy. <laughs> so I was getting instructions. Um, yeah, this lady was super, super helpful. In fact, um, we've both rewarded her with um, a holiday in Namibia. So I hope, I hope she comes and so we just spoil her. So this is me going for the second time. Um, you know, I was getting the hang of it a little bit to carry the bucket. Normally, they put it on the head <laughs> and you have to carry it. But they were a little lenient. Oh, guys, I don't know what's up with my English bundles these days. They were a bit lenient and they were like, you know what? Just do you, boo. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll do this. <laughs> happening here is yes i am getting paid <laughs> i'm getting money for giving people water normally they leave it um in the bucket after they're done to show their appreciation but they thought they'd just combine everything and come give it to me once i've you know settled down so i took a bath i wore my favorite pink dress and this is it So what you witnessing here, the clapping of hands in the particular way that we do it, is a sign of saying thank you. Um, so here she's explaining to me um, what I do with the money. So I have to buy something valuable, something for myself or for the home, something that I can hold on to to um, remember um, this day. So after this, um, we went somewhere you'll see where we went just now i just wanted you guys to get a glimpse of what zimbabwe looks like in some parts
just have a look at the roads guys full of potholes it's crazy it's crazy some roads are worse than this but um i'll see if if i captured footage to show you that but look at all those holes in the road and that's normal that's 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 actually the new normal and it's so sad um people have to maintain their cars with ridiculous amounts of money all the time um look at that it's crazy it's absolutely mind-boggling wow that hospital actually belongs to our church the church that i go to um but the opinions shared in this video has got nothing to do with um the organizations that i'm a part of or any of that so let me show you guys where we um we're headed hi guys sorry if my energy is low but i've got this intense headache and it just needs to go away but um i'm here at a place and so what's happening is they need to they so my father-in-law my husband and my husband's nephew if i yeah if that's correct um they have to choose a goat so i need to go get the goat or oh, they need to choose a goat and once they found the goat i get to go and see the goat because the goat is for me and it's gonna be slaughtered taken home and i'm gonna have to prepare it for the family as part of the procedures so yeah that's that's what's happening so i'm currently in the car right now i'm waiting for for them to call me yeah please pray for me My lash is not even on correctly. Huh? Oh well. It is what it is. It's on. That's what matters. So yeah, I'm waiting for them. Um, I'll show you guys what they get. Or what they have. <laughs> once they've chosen one. Oh, I think they have actually. I think they have. Let's see. Talk to you soon. Hi guys, so the goat is being slaughtered right now. I'm not going to show you guys that because I didn't want to see it myself either. So yeah, we're here, we're waiting. It's gonna be prepared by you baby. Apparently. But we'll Tender meat, nice and juicy. We freshly need, cut. We need marinade, but there's no marinade. <laughs> natural marinade. Natural <laughs> natural, yeah. natural marinade. Yeah. You have to use so. natural herbs to yeah. prepare we'll the marinade naturally. Yeah. So it's going to be yeah. we take a, nice we, and Oh that's another goat. Well. Someone's getting more meat. So yeah, we, I mean, I was I, I asked for marinade earlier, but then, well, things aren't as easy to get here like they are at home. Just shows us that there's a lot of things that we take for granted. 
um it's, it's just a lot of things that we take for granted but yeah um i'm grateful for god's grace so we'll wait for that and see what we can use to marinate it and then um, i'm supposed to yo guys another goat just got slaughtered like my heart can't take this Oof. Mm -mm. <laughs> so we were waiting for them to clean out the intestines so that we could head home at this point they're already done slaughtering my goats so now we're preparing to head home where um i will be presented with my goat meat so the meat is being presented to me i did not know what to do with myself at this point <laughs> i was kind of just sitting there and yeah waiting for <laughs> instructions <laughs> But yeah, that's the meat. It was shown to me um, as, as a way of welcoming me into the family. So, yeah. And then they got me a cake, guys. A pink cake. I was so excited. So I just gave water again and got some corn. I wanted to show you guys how people live in Zim or some people. <laughs> so I had to be very strategic on how I record this because I think the guy later suspected. But this is what happens. This is. Anyway, I am back to my business for the day to get my corn, but also to um, appreciate the rest of the family. So that's us bringing the water. As you can see, I'm dressing my full attire, my um, Oshitenge in Namibia, Zambia, and Zimbabwe, and my duk for the process. So, yeah, this is, this is, this is it, guys. This is it. This is what happens. But I got a lot of help. I really got a lot of help. So I'm grateful. So this was the last footage for that day. So what's happening here is Norman bought his grandmother a blanket. Um, so I went with him. We drained resources and we bought our grandmother a blanket. And she was so excited. People were singing, dancing, elating. All this stuff to show how really excited they are. Their grandma is standing up and she's excited. She's happy. And it was just a beautiful atmosphere. <laughs> So the next day we had to run an errand in, in, in Harare <laughs> when you run an errand just stick to one errand because it takes you an hour or more to get to one place from one place to another so here Norman's just collecting his high school certificate it's called Zimsec certificate and yeah we this is actually the better part of Zimbabwe there's a really really good part um, I hope to show you that as the video progresses here it is again folks <laughs> i don't know why they do this it's so dangerous and the roads are so bumpy this is another part of town this is in town by the way look at this just look at how people are living it's saddening it yeah so that's a part of town y'all so there was nothing more to show that you had already seen this day so the next day was it this day or the next day i'm not too sure we were getting ready to go look at um some property some land to purchase because the land is super super cheap in zimbabwe like so affordable so we were headed towards the good side of harare <laughs>
So this building belongs to one of the richest guys in Zimbabwe. I'm not here to mention names, but apparently he wanted to construct a hotel. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But it belongs to him. One thing about Zimbabwe is that the vegetation is rich. Lots of trees everywhere, lots of greenery, especially when you get to the good parts, like these parts that I'm showing you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So like I said, um, we... In Afrikaans, I'd say, ons is was opsoek. Nah. So we were looking for land to buy land for a thousand square meters would cost you around 200,000 rands. For example, that's an estimate, but that's the range. Whereas here, oh my gosh, millions of dollars. A million dollars, that is, rands. Um, so, I mean, if there's a way to invest i mean yeah so we were looking at that we're headed to this new suburb um it overlooks a dam i hope i took the footage i may not have but um it, it's yeah it overlooks a dam um it's fairly new people are building their houses there um people in zim are super big on building houses so this is borodal brook it's near borodal brook it's a fancy area in Harare, so we have to go past that area to go to the place where we're looking at land. As you can see, the houses are already different. Yeah. So at this point, we are... Okay, we at, like I said, I forgot to take the footage. We're headed back. Um, but now we're passing by one of my favorite places to go to in Zim, where you don't even feel like you're in Zimbabwe with all the hardships. It's Sami Levy Village. They've got Rocco Mamas there as well. I'm going to show you guys as I think I did capture that. Yes, um, they've got Rocco Mamas. And I was just so excited to see it because I was like, yes, I know you. I know you. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this is the that's Mercedes Benz. People drive cars and they buy them cash in this country. I don't know how they do it. But that's one thing about Zimbabwean people. They're super, super hardworking. Like, respect, hands down. They're unmatched. They've got pick and pay, as you can see, as well. So it wasn't too foreign to me. Really wasn't too foreign to me. They've got a guard up there to check out. I don't know why she's there. I'm assuming to check that everything goes well. Yes, we are approaching Rocco Mamas. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. So I was excited to see that. So after this, I stopped recording footage because we had gone to visit a few friends and family um, that we had not seen in years, some in a few months, but it felt like forever. So um, I'm only going to start recording the next day. Guys, I wanted to show you what it's like. This is this is how people live. And this is a road we are on that's almost completely done away with. Like it's done, it hasn't been maintained in forever. That's piece of the road, guys. And people live like that. People live there. And they're expected to be happy and content with what they have. This is this is where it's at, guys. Like uh, it's 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 saddening. It's saddening. To see. So guys, this is my second last day. We, we can say it's the last day in Zim and oh, look at how dirty my mask is as the foundation. Okay. So we're about to get our COVID test for travel. Um yeah, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, let me show you the place. So that's the place. As soon as we're done here, we're going to head over into town to go surprise our friend who is the owner at Mambo's Chicken. And yeah, stay tuned. I did not take footage of the COVID test, so sorry. 
So we ended up at Mambo's Chicken. Our friend treated us to some amazing food. We loved it. We loved every piece. It was just delicious. So if you are in Zim, do not hesitate to make a turn at Mambo's Chicken, the best chicken on the block. Thank me. You will definitely thank me later when you do. Bye. <laughs> what do you want to do? Go. This is where we had to say goodbye. Our flight was at 4, I mean, at 6, so we had to be at the airport at 4 a.m. Um, so we were saying goodbye, and this is us just getting right back into the airport and to just come back home. Um, hi guys. So, it's a little dark because it's... All right, bye. We're just checking in. We're headed back home. Um, um are you is there a queue? Okay. On the right side. So we're getting ready to board. We're the first ones to board. Um Guys, I'm a little low on energy, but and and our next flight is quite the time. We don't have a lot of time, so I don't know if I'll have time to to vlog, but we'll see. Thanks. It is sixteen. 16. Okay. It's cold in this plane, guys. I think it's just the weather, maybe. It's an early flight, so. Yeah. Um. But I'm grateful. Please continue to move to the rear of the cabin, keeping the aisles clear and stow your hand luggage. In the interest of safety, please only place large items or hand baggage into the overhead lockers and smaller items including handbags beneath the seat in front of you. Take care when using the lockers in case anything falls out. You guys want to see how early it is. Take a seat. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. Smoking is prohibited on the entire aircraft, including the lavatory. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the lavatory smoke detectors is prohibited by international law. The use of electronic cigarettes is...
We're finally getting ready to board our flight home. I miss home. I'm excited. I miss I miss warm showers. I miss sleeping until whatever time. <laughs> um yeah. I miss our food. Oh my word guys, I actually lost a few kilos. I measured it with a with an aeroplane with a with a seat belt in the plane. And yeah, I lost quite a bit around my waist, but yeah, we'll see. Now I'm going back to our eating habits, so I don't know. But I'm excited. You guys wanna see my outfit? I just put on stuff that didn't need to be ironed. <laughs> yeah. So I'm so thirsty. Can we get some water, babe? Yeah, so there was so much drama this morning. I thought we were gonna be late. And this airport is so huge, man. I actually think this is where I lost most of my kilograms because I've been walking and running and Norman just walks fast and he doesn't even sweat like he's so used to it but then again he's really fit so yeah okay see you on the flip side Ooh. I even have an outbreak now I need to go to the spa again So at this point, our boarding gate was just um, nearby. So we thought, let's just grab a bite at Mug and Bean, have something, something, have some water and get ready for the flight. Of which we're going to board in the next um, five minutes. <laughs> so, but we could see everything that was going on from where we were seated. So, because our plane was just nearby. And we had some samosas. They were delicious. And we just, yeah. We were getting ready to board. We ate in like two minutes. <laughs> and yeah, we'll be boarding soon after this. So after this, I forgot to record me getting into the plane and all that. But that stuff you guys already know. So we're in mid-flight already and I decided to take out my phone. I mean, of course, here we're still boarding. But I mean, after this, we're in mid-flight and we're eating. Look at this beautifully packaged chocolate. And I enjoyed, I actually enjoyed my food this time around. Um, there was no rush. There was just relaxation. And yeah, delicious food. I don't know if I should mention the airline. Oh yeah, but you probably did see it in my post. And you're probably going to see it now. So I don't need to mention it. They give really good service. And they're quite affordable. So yeah, try them out. And let me know. <laughs> We're finally in Ventuk. Home. The sun is behind us. <laughs> Fine, they know Take it's home. you. Who else? 
And that's a wrap, guys. Thank you for tuning in to watch my content. I'll be sure to improve and do better vlogging experiences and share them with you guys. But thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Remember, liking increases the chances of other people viewing my videos. So thank you for liking and stay tuned for more.